So for the first time in a long time, someone finally made a cryptocurrency movie. But oh my freaking god, is it so bad! Hey guys, Genesis here. So before we begin, this video is brought to you by Ferium.io. Gain up to 40% from your Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. To learn more, stick around to find out. Okay, so there's this new movie trailer on YouTube and it's entitled Crypto, starring Star-Lord's dad, the other Hemsworth, who's that chick, I don't know that guy. So basically, it's a movie starring one or two recognizable face and no one else. And it's about cryptocurrency. And they have no freaking idea what cryptocurrency is about. So I'm supposed to make a reaction to this one. But it's really bad. It's really, really, really bad that I really just had to react towards the commenters' reactions on this said video. Okay, let's start. Okay, so the first comment would be from Gelmir Kurofin, and he says, I'll bet there are three scenes of someone typing really fast. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's basically it since it's pretty much like the movies from the 80s and 90s about hackers and whatnot and they have no idea what hacking is and the guy's just doing hacker stuff and it doesn't actually make sense and it's very far from what it really is <laughs> because yeah let's face it the filmmakers most of the filmmakers especially when they talk about these kinds of movies they really have no idea what going on with the technology and whatnot that they're trying to feature and it's pretty much apparent that the filmmakers also don't know what they're doing in this movie so I'll just leave it at that next one would be from a voice of man he said that I imagine there will be a 10 minute 10 standoff where they wait for the blockchain to verify a transaction good times <laughs> Next one is from E-Hole. E-Hole, okay. So he says here, yes, it's here. The dumbest film ever made about something that the writers don't understand. Exactly. Next one, Lefton159. Nice social programming. They used to make better propaganda material back in the day. Exactly. This is nothing more than a propaganda movie. I gotta stress this. Enough. Bitcoin has been around 2008. It's more than a decade now that Bitcoin has been existing and that it has reached its 20,000 peak during the 2017s. It's very hyped up during those years and not a single thing has been made riding that hype. It's a freaking multi billion dollar industry. Countless of companies have been appearing left and right due to this hype. Still, no one talks about cryptocurrency, especially in movies. There has only been one mention of cryptocurrency, and that's it. And interestingly enough, when we are now in the winter, the crypto winter, someone decides out of nowhere to create a movie about crypto, and the main message is crypto bad, Russians bad and the same old bullshit that they feed us. It's very, very fishy. Okay, the next one will be from Joshua David. He said, cool. <laughs> Luke managed to be in the trailer for half a crypto second. <laughs> yeah, they gotta put a name there somewhere. They gotta put a Hemsworth there somewhere. Next one will be from Ryan Hogan. He said, Russia bad, crypto bad, smart people bad, unless working for government. Thanks Hollywood for yet another original plot. There's nothing wrong with propaganda movies per se. There are a lot of propaganda movies that have been very good, very entertaining, like instant classics and whatnot. But please, if you're gonna make a freaking propaganda movie, just, just make it good. I mean, we just want a good movie. We don't fucking care about your politics and whatnot. If you're gonna make a movie, just make a movie if you have political agenda underneath it, just do it. 
Just make freaking sure that you make a freaking good movie because we're paying for it. That's all we ask. Okay, next one is one of my favorite ones. It's from Sean O'Brien and he pointed out this one from the trailer. The desktop folder labeled kickbacks. <laughs> I mean, it's right beside the Bitcoin payments and then like just a folder right there in the desktop labeled kickbacks. Yeah, that's how hackers do it. You know, that's how crypto enthusiasts do it. That's how the Russian mafia does it. They just make a folder with the name kickbacks. Yeah. James A. Baldwin says the amount of characters who just pew exposition in this trailer was comical. LMM, LM, L. Frig, how do I say this? Lmao. 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 Right. And followed by John Constantine. John Constantine. Nice name. Anyway, he says friendly reminder that banks launder more money than the entire market cap of all cryptocurrencies put together. Nick Andrews says the ultimate 51% attack. A 51% of rotten tomatoes coming up. <laughs> Alex Ostra. Uh, Okay, Alex Alexandrov says, at least understand what you're making the movie about. Calling it crypto just to get attention reminds me of Nazis on the Moon movie. Crypto, money laundering, Russian mafia literally looked at the Google Trends and slapped this POS together. Lol. Keywords, keywords, keywords. He has a point. It's... It's like, okay, let's make a movie about crypto. We have to make it something action, something blah, 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 blah. And then they just slap in the Russian mafia, and then they slap in guns, and then they slap in some nudity and whatnot. The, the basic Hollywood bullshit, just with the title crypto, so that people would watch it. It's a freaking lazy thing. And apparently that's the thing. That's all the comments are about. About. So you can actually see how people really don't dig this movie a lot. People just tear this trailer apart, like apart, apart. Especially if you're a hodler or if you're someone who's very into cryptos, uh, you're so not gonna love this movie because it doesn't dig in deep about the very important things about crypto in general, the, the technology behind it, the reason why it exists, the principles, the values, the core things of why crypto was invented in the first place. Nah, it's a money laundering movie. It's like the Russian mafia is making it as a way to launder money and do bad stuff and you know, world domination and stuff like that. It's a very, very lazy plot, which in my opinion is a very obvious propaganda against crypto. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why. But before I tell my conspiracy theories, let's get into our sponsor. Ethereum.io is having their pre-ICO sale on March 25th to April 24th this year. And we are inviting you, 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 Bitcoin holders and uh, cryptocurrency holders out there to invest in our pre-ICO sale that will give you up to 40% bonus from buying our fair seed tokens. Ethereum.io is inviting investors in our sustainable business model where we have a working official gambling platform while at the same time having functional SDKs that would help developers and platform proprietors to have their blockchain-based games specifically made for gambling and last but not least a token economy of itself all this would work together as an ecosystem of value providing investors an opportunity to profit during this time of crypto winter where the prices are not going too high and too low so while you're huddling your coins you might as well invest to ferium.io to gain much, much more while waiting for that Bitcoin to go to the moon again. Okay, so where was I? <laughs> okay, so it's 
Conspiracy time. Okay, so there's this video by the Centralized TV reviewing the trailer review for crypto. And he mentioned specifically about the US government's three lettered intelligence agency that the government uses these kinds of movies to make a propaganda, you know, to scare people off. And now that I think of it, it makes perfect sense. First, I have mentioned before that the cryptocurrency during the boom, during the 2016, 17, 18, and whatnot, not one single movie has been made riding on the hype of cryptocurrencies back then. But now that we're facing this sort of crypto winter, this sort of thing suddenly appears out of nowhere. It's uncalled for. It's No one's asking for a cryptocurrency movie at this time and day, but here it is. And the reason is very clear. Because of course crypto winter, it's crypto winter right now. Many people have gotten themselves out of the system. Many people are done trading, they're done huddling. They've given up on their Lambos and shit. So pretty much the mainstream masses, us small investors already think that crypto is basically dead. Now, interestingly enough, despite us thinking that the market is basically dead and whatnot, the mainstream thinks that Bitcoin is already dead, no one's using it anymore. That was when institutional investors like university endowments and uh, equity funds and mutual funds started going inside the crypto game for some reason. When the crypto community is silent, when the prices are sleeping, that's when they came in. And interestingly enough, with this thinking, why would they make a propaganda movie scaring the ordinary investors, us small investors, into investing crypto when it's already considered dead by the masses. And the reason is simple. It's because cryptocurrency isn't freaking dead, guys. It's not dead at all. Because if it were dead, then the institutional investors wouldn't be wasting their money going in this crypto game, reserving their seats on the table once the nascent technology reaches its peak again. Even Walmart is creating their own blockchain technology for record keeping. Even Facebook is making their own cryptocurrency. And interestingly enough, if you add all of these, it would boil down to this. Institutional investors, they would go in. Major corporations, they would go in. And when all the pieces are set, the market is gonna go up again and people are gonna ride the crypto train again. And when this time comes, then it's now the age of decentralization. It would affect government at a humongous scale. It would put banks and traditional systems on the verge of disappearing. In short, it's definitely not good on the centralized system's future. And so they release this movie. Okay, so those are my thoughts about the movie Crypto. Are you gonna watch it? Let me know in the comments and the tweets and whatnot. And I'll be seeing you soon. Once again, this has been Genesis X. Stay cool, guys.